Greetings to you. This is Brandon the Freight Broker with Alliance Logistics, and I hope this message finds you in the best of health and spirit on another beautiful Monday morning that we've been blessed to see. I want to thank you so much for spending some of your time with me this morning. I understand that there are many things that you want to accomplish, and we do as well. So we're going to get into the business of things this morning, and the topic that we're going to be discussing is, is it possible to be a part-time freight broker? I'll answer that question right up front. Absolutely. Sure it is. Um, but at, but what we also must understand is that being a part-time freight broker, most of us, if we have the idea of being a part-time freight broker, we want to eventually move to be a full-time freight broker. So we want to, at some point in time, be able to give more and more of our time to work full-time on our dream, our own dreams. Uh, and <clears throat> you also figure out that a freight broker is going a freight broker business is going to demand more and more of your time <clears throat> um, so with that said yes you can be a part-time freight broker um, but <clears throat> I don't think being a part-time freight broker is a sustainable plan you know I don't think it's something that you can sustain over a long period of time just because you know, freight brokering is very, very demanding. So the more, uh, you know, the more you put into it, the more it's going to ask of you, so to speak. Uh, it's going to demand of you. You know, your, your business is, when your businesses start growing, you're going to, you know, your business, once your business starts to grow, you're going to have to spend more time within that business, tweaking it, growing it, nurturing it. Uh, so it's just a... Um, you know, it's a, it's a, you know, you can definitely be a part-time freight broker, but only for a period of time. I get people who call me and they say, well, Brandon, I, uh, I want to be a freight broker. Um, I have bills, you know, you know, my job pays those bills. So, you know, how long is it going to be before I start to, to make money so that I can pay my bills and without hurting their feelings, you know, I try and make sure that everybody understands that if your mindset is I have to have money to be able to pay my bills, then you are probably going to need a job. You're not quite ready to build a business, whether it's a freight broker business or any type of business for that matter. Um, you know, the job, you know, is probably what you need right now if you're concerned about being able to pay the bills. Um, you must have a plan. Uh, and in my situation, I quit a six-figure annual job. But I didn't just up and quit. I had a plan to move toward that. For example, when you take a look at big companies or small companies, companies period for that matter. Whenever they run into trouble, financial trouble, when things, you know, the train runs off of the track or it's about to run off the track, one of the first things they start to do is downsize. They start to let go some folks. Uh, we saw that recently with the ESPN, huge company, and they just recently uh, laid off 100 people. Well, the reason for that is because they had started to lose money. I think I saw a, um, an article somewhere saying that ESPN was losing 12 million subscribers. And I think that may have been over the last year or so. Um, but when that happens, they start to cut their expenses. They start to cut the fat. That's the same thing that we have to do as business owners. But we can't wait until there's a problem. Um, you know, if you are operating off of 100% of the income that you're making, you want to get to the point where you're operating off of 75% of the income that you're making, then 50% of the income that you're making, because now you are less dependent on the income that is sustaining your life, you know, and that 75% or the, the additional 25% or the additional 50% that you're not spending you can be putting that money away. You can be saving that money. 
And what you're doing is saving money and you're also building your confidence because you're needing less than what you're making. Uh, and that is to me is, is, a, is, a, is a very good way to go about eventually quitting the job. You know, because, you know, it's only natural. If you look at it and you were spending 100% of the income and now you don't need 100%, you only need 75% or you only need 50%, then you have the confidence now to not need the job. You don't have a, you, you had a confidence in saying, hey, maybe I don't need this job. You know, I was operating off 100% of my income and now I'm only operating off of 50% of that income. So I got a confidence now that I don't need 100% of that income. So in order not to need that income, we just talked about what businesses do when they get into trouble. Remember, we're not going wait to wait until we get into trouble. We're going to start to cut our expenses. One of the best ways to make more money is to cut your overhead, cut your expenses, cut the money that's going out of the window. Uh, and the more we cut the money that goes out of the window, the better off we're going to be. Um, so it's just one of those situations that we have to become less and less dependent on the income that we're making from the job. And when we do that, we have more confidence when it comes down to building our own dream. Um, now, with that said, I am not a financial advisor by any stretch of the imagination. Let me make sure I disclose that. You have to develop a plan that works for you. I developed a plan that works for me. Um, and one of those plans that I developed was cutting my expenses, becoming less dependent on the income that I was making from the job. So it would give me the confidence to walk away from the job because, because now I really don't need the job. A lot of times we say that, but we're just talking. Those are just words coming out of our mouth. You're saying you don't need the job, but every paycheck that comes in, you're spending 100% of that paycheck. Then when the other one comes in, you do the same thing. So you need the job because if you didn't need it, you wouldn't be spending the money. <laughs> so you do need it. So make it, make it so that you don't need it by spending less money. Okay. That's how, uh, that's how I chose to approach it. Uh, doesn't say that that's that works for everybody. You know, that's different strokes for different folks. But to me, that's just a uh, that just passes a common sense test to spend less of what it is that you earn. Um, that shows that you need less than you're earning. OK, so that is one way of looking at it. Certainly, we know that we must have a plan. And when we have a sustainable plan in place, we have something in place that, you know, uh, helps us to get to where it is that we want to go we can more so see ourselves leaving the job. But if you don't have a plan, you know, uh, the best, probably the best thing for you to do is to stay on your job until you have a plan. Um, and, you know, because, you know, one of the worst things is to start a business, to get out there and start building a business that you're passionate about, uh, that you're excited about, uh, that you're starting to build some momentum and then you realize, oh my goodness, I'm running out of money. Um, and then we have to do what many people do. They run back to their safe haven, they shut their businesses down, and they go and get a job. Um, and, you know, you don't want to do that because you don't have to. And if you have a plan, it puts you in a better position so you don't have to do that. So that's what I wanted to share with you this morning is to, yes, you can build or you can start a freight broker business uh, part-time. Now notice I didn't say your freight broker business can be a hobby uh, because we can't approach it as a hobby. It has to be, you have to be fully in the, you know, you gotta be fully committed to this business, fully dedicated to this business for the time that you say that you're going to be doing. If it's part-time and you say, hey, I'm gonna do 15 hours a week, you have to be dedicated, committed, and disciplined uh, when it comes to standing up and doing those 15 hours, putting those 15 hours into your dream. Let's think about it. We're talking about our dream. We're talking about building something that you can look at one day and be proud of and say, hey, this is what I worked so hard to build. So I can be able to pass something on to my family members or be the first one in my family to build 
a successful business. Um, so that's what I wanted to share with you today. I hope that it was helpful. If you have questions about our training program, go to www.training.alliancelogistics.net. Um, if you want, you know, you have some questions and you want to get some answers to, give me a call 470-427-2711 extension 101. Last but not least, I want to make sure that I mention this. Um, a freight broker business can be anything that you want it to be. You can build it to whatever you want it to be. Uh, but you must have a plan. There's no way around that. Uh, and when we get into trouble is when we don't have a plan. That's what I wanted to share with you today. You have a wonderful and productive day. Thank you.